Right, this is Returnal without frame generation. I am on a GTX 1650 laptop, so I need to drop my settings a little bit. This game is quite um, demanding. So I use the low settings preset with FSR set to balanced. And then everything's on low. I put screen space reflections on, depth of field on, and then I switch off bloom. And generally, then I can get 70, 60, yeah, you can see the game is hovering between, yeah, from the 50s, probably up to 70 odd. And then when we go into scenes like this, you can see it drops down to 50s. But uh, yeah, let's see what we can do with frame generation and if it actually does improve the game's performance. Right guys, so to install frame generation into Returnal, what you want to do is use the latest version of the mod 0.8.0 and then uh, use FSR 2.1 and then just copy uh, these files to wherever Returnal saved on your desktop. For me, it is over here. Go into Returnal, but then don't just paste it over here. Go into Returnal, Binaries, Windows 64 and you want to paste the mod over here and once that's done we can launch Returnal and you'll see that the script is catching and blah 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 you know the story I just need to wait for it to load and then uh, look I'm gonna switch over to GeForce Experience because obviously I'm gonna lose a lot of FPS with uh, OBS recording so I'll catch you in a second right so I just switched over to GeForce experience I'm in game now to activate frame generation what you want to do is go to settings go to graphics and then you want to change FSR uh, just glitches out once you do this I'm put on XES and then put on DLSS on quality and then as you can see this enables frame generation so you can see you got extra frames, the game does feel smoother, but uh, the UI HUD elements are ridiculous. And even on, um, I think it's Serena, I can't quite remember, even on the main character you can see the the, uh, the glitch or the shadow, um, yeah, shadows quite a bit. So then what you want to do is go back to graphics and then you want to change DLSS to XES because this normally works but you can see the ghosting is still there and it doesn't really feel like uh, the 70 or 80 frames so then to get it to work properly what you want to do is you want to go back to FSR and then I just set it to balance because I just find it works best there and you'll notice that you're getting extra frames the game feels smoother there's no uh, ghosting on the character and the HUD elements uh, aren't flickering and the game actually does feel a lot smoother like this. It's not perfect, it's not ideal. I would have liked to have been able to use the LSS, but good as a man. It doesn't 100% feel like 98 frames. It does feel faster than what it was initially. But I'd say you probably gain half the frames that are displayed on the screen. So previously we were getting 60 to 70 FPS. Um, now I'd say 90, but I'd say this probably feels more like 70 to 80 FPS. But yeah, that's how you enable frame generation on Returnal. It's not perfect just yet, but I'm sure it will improve with time. Guys, thanks so much for watching. Look out for the next video. Cheers.